there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I scatted too hard. And the scat man spirit um, it exploded. And it, it blew up my website. I scatted too hard. That's how it goes. But we have no time to waste. Listen, we dove into the spider hole and now it's time. Yeah, I scatted so good the content algorithm picked it up and then banned my site. Maybe he was contacting me. I scatted too close to the sun. True, true. Um, we need to leave the spider hole, everyone. It's it's okay. I took you down into the spider hole and now I'm going to lift you back out because we have to react to something we discovered earlier. Tanky Doomcock? Could it be? We got to do Tanky Doomcock, don't we? Now, for those of you who don't know what Doomcock is, let me just tell you. Let me give you a little intro to Doomcock. Um, every name is too similar to an emote. That's really weird. I'm sorry, Clara. I don't know what's wrong with that. Um, try, uh, well, what I've been told is that, um, what I've been told is that if you add something in front, like the, we'll be able to change it in the future. Well, give me a second here. Let me see. What is this? Oh, hey, you, you clipped me. You can send that to Gayfesh if you want to, me to be embarrassed in public. Let's watch it here, and I'll embarrass myself in public. You're good. I was just bullying you. Don't worry. You're good. I was just bullying you. I can handle it. I'm a streamer. People say weird shit about me all the time in chat. I'm the scat man. I can't do it. See, I can't even do it. That was the worst scat man impersonation I've ever done. Well, you have officially made me cringe at myself. So I am going to cry now. <laughs> I can't cry. I don't remember how to feel. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah. No, no. I'm just kidding, Noopy. Noopy. I'm being so mean to chat. Chat, I apologize. Please forgive me. Um. There's too much context in this clip. It's true. There's way too much context. People understand it. You could clip it around, though. We'll see. Here's what we have to watch. So first, here's the thing. Um. I have to give credit because Doomcock is not my beat. I... I am not the one who hunts the Doomcock. That belongs to another streamer that we all know and love by the name of Chud Logic. Noopy is the mod for Chud Logic. Do you know of Chud Logic? Let me just show you who this is. Chud Logic has done some great coverage of this fellow called Doomcock. Um, let me just show you. Let me just let me just show you. Yeah. Who's Chad Magic? Yeah, it's true. Let's, let me show you. Here we go. This is right here. This is Chud Logic. This is Chud Logic doing some coverage of a guy named Doomcock. So I just want you to know who we're talking about here. This is Doomcock right here. His take on this, okay? And how he reports on it. See the tweet from a friend of mine, H. Orson, who informed me of a new Star Trek leak on 4chan by Anonymous. A Star Trek leak all about Doomcock. For those of you who don't... By Anonymous. For some reason, Doomcock anonymous. is very quiet. Everyone's anonymous on 4chan. That's the point. How it... But yes, credit for the, the covering the beat of Doomcock goes to none other than the one and only Chud Logic. If you want to see the continuing story of Doomcock, you have got to follow Chud Logic. That's who you got to do. But this... Um, this is something different. We've discovered a potential alter ego of Doomcock, but it's not the first one. Because you see, here is the classic Doomcock. As you can see, this is, is Doomcock right here. As you can see, this is his channel. He's got this uh, toilet bowl urinal face. He does a whole bunch of stuff, but he also has another alter ego. Um, Let me just bring this up. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, where is it? This is not the one. Wait. Wait a minute. <gasps> Other people are stealing Chud Logic's game. Oh my god, they've gotten on the beat. They've gotten on the beat. Where is the where is the original? I can't find it. Did it not go on? Here it is. Look at this. So Here we go. This is Chud Logic again. 
exposing his alter ego, a Nazi. Look at this guy. This is the kind of Ransonas I need to be looking at from here on in. This this is... <sighs> Styles are very similar. The costumes are kind of similar. Mm. The hand gestures are kind of similar. But look, True. I don't know. His True body newbie. type looks different. So this is Doomcock over here, and there's a lot of evidence that this Nazi guy is also Doomcock. Uh, I think his name is Commandant or something. The Commandant or something along those lines. Commandant. Yeah, that's his name. But now we might have a third. And this is my original reporting. So Chud Logic. <laughs> get ready. Here we go. We can we can continue where we left off. Here we go. Chud Logic is anti Xander Hall. I don't think he is. I don't think Chud Logic is anti Xander Hall. In fact, Xander Hall's been on Chud Logic's show. I don't think there. I don't think Chud Logic is anti Xander Hall. Yeah, I think he's just skeptical of some of it, which is fine. We're all. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical of many people. Yeah, I'm skeptical of my chat. I'm sneaky. All right, here we go. All these ideas related to China and everything. So if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to him for some- Snoopy, does this not sound like Tanky Doomcock? It's Tanky Doomcock. This has got to be Tanky Doomcock. I'm more convinced now than ever. But let's find out what Tanky Doomcock has to say for himself. Because I know absolutely nothing about this guy. This guy's videos was sent to me and I heard his voice and I went- that's Doomcock. That sounds exactly like Doomcock. And it looks like Doomcock. And it has over-aggressive LARPing like Doomcock. Maybe Doomcock is doing the rounds around the uh, the political compass. Oh, I'm sorry, Purple Purper. I don't know what's wrong with it. Try Maybe try clearing your cash for Twitter and si or for Twitch and signing back in. It might be that you have some broken cookies or something. So if all three of them are the same... Yeah, yeah, he could be doing that. Maybe he's diversifying. Yeah, we need to find... That's our goal. We need to find um, Anarchist Doomcock. Oh, well, I mean, uh, Daedal Dan. Daedal Dan, Doomcock is a tiny, um, cringy right-wing streamer, anti-SJW streamer, who wears a toilet on his head um, and then rants about Star Wars usually and how uh, fem femoids are ruining um, Star Wars. That's who Doomcock is. Um... Yeah, that's who Doomcock is. But we don't know who this guy is, but he sure does sound a lot like Doomcock. And also, let's just take a look at his channel real quick. This video is called American Reacts to North Korean Media, The Comrade Report, which already makes me go, I'm a little sus. I I'm a little sus about this. So let's see what his content is. Uh-oh. A racist deal. Bay Dan... I don't 2.5 hour Uyghur China stream with Bay Area four one wait four one five uh oh uh oh uh oh oh shit oh shit hey Clara I'm glad we worked it out oh here Clara I have a gift for you ready we're, we're everybody's getting on the site so apologies here you go Clara you are now fancy named fancy name enjoy your fancy name clara happy to have you today yeah fancy name oh so um i'm sorry but we have to we have to check in on this we have to check in on this incredibly disappointed about this poor sterilization uh narrative uh when i see my own communities why do I know that? Wait, why do I know that sound? What? Actually, um, actually gets, uh, sorry, um. I know that! It's from an ASMR video! Hold on, hold on. I know it. It's from a, it's a fucking stock. It's from a. Holy shit! Hold on. Is it this one? 
This is it. Watch, watch, watch. I watch a lot of ASMR, but watch this. Hold on. This is a barber. This is a Turkish barber who does videos of ASMR. And watch this. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. Wait, I'll show you. Wait, it's too low. His video is too low. He fucked up his own audio. Hold on a second. I'll show you. I will show you. Watch this. Hi, guys. You can hear it, Hi right? Guys. Nice. Thanks, dude. Um, but you can hear the song. This guy uses the same fucking song. I don't know why you would open an ASMR video with that. Damn, his audio levels are off. Maybe his last few videos suck. But that's this. That's the loop. It's a stock song. Oh, so that's the... Uh, that bottle noise was... <sighs> we found Centrus Doomcock. Wait! Who's... Who's Centrus Doomcock now? Wait, is that... Is that the ASMR guy? Is Centrus Doomcock? The, 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 the Turkish barber guy? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I believe you. I believe it. So, yeah, see? Yeah, I just actually get inflected by this. It, it's... Same song. It, it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry God about um, I, I'm getting a little emotional there. Um... It's the exact same song. Now, now, the thing you talked about just now, you spoke about just now, the danger... It doesn't make it sus. I just heard this song before. And it's it's from a it's from an ASMR video. It must be a stock. It must be stock. But I heard it and I'm like, wait, I know this. And it was from a an ASMR video I've seen before. So it must just be a stock song. Yeah. Maybe oh. it's an Apple Loop. Anyway, let's continue. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's from the YouTube royalty free library. Oh, that would make sense. Wait. So this guy has a Reddit. Uh oh. Uh oh. We are all Doomcock. We've discovered tanky Doomcock. Okay, so this is getting us into a whole other rabbit hole. This is so fucking wild. Okay, so he is a mod. Okay, here's the guy. Marxist, Leninist, YouTuber, attorney living in the belly of the beast USA. Hmm. Uh-oh. 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 IDK, what's worse? ContraPoints telling people to fight for the little crumbs we can temporarily have or saying ending capitalism is too much, belittling revolution while ignoring MN riots in the non-Western world, downplaying PSL, SRA, and other orgs all to vote for Joe. We watched this on stream, didn't we? Do we think... That this is a fair take. Tanky Doomcock. We've found him. This has to be Tanky Doomcock. Holy shit. PSL is the... I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember, but... I rem yeah, Par Party for Socialism and Liberation. I always forget what, what the names are. SRA is Socialist Rifle Association, yeah. Um, and other orgs all vote for Joe. I don't actually think she said that. Maybe. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit with her, um, her, um, her rhetoric. But I, I don't feel like she was particularly bad. I mean, I don't know. If you're, if you're a revolutionary, like, don't you have to be a little thicker skinned than getting offended at a ContraPoints video? Really? Okay, listen. So this guy's got a, a Twitter account too. Let's go. Let's go take a look at his Twitter account. I don't know anything about this guy other than he sounds like Doomcock. So we're doing a deep dive. This is a live research right now. Wait, I can't do this. I, you never know what's going to show up on your timeline. We got to go to, uh, what's his name again? Fuck. Uh, Bay Area's 1415, whatever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A lot of people I know are following this person. This person might not be a meme. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. They're not a meme. Okay, Clara, I trust you if you say that. 
So are, is this person like, oh no, why? What? Oh, they're a straight up uh, Xi Jinping uh, apologist. Oh, oops. Is this guy going to, are we going to, Clara, am I, am I, uh-oh, oh boy, okay, oh, oh boy. Watching Biden try to be tough against socialist countries. Wonder how the fuck leftists can justify voting on this man, voting for this man. China trade wars, DPRK illegal sanctions, Venezuela, Bolivia. Their votes are continuing relentless capitalist imperialism. Hmm. Well, they have more followers than me. Uh, Fashi Alt is the commandant. He's on BitChute only. He got banned off of everywhere else. This person isn't a B.O.B. This person is uh, something else. It's a something else. We will find out, I guess. I guess we're going to find out. So I'm going to guess that this is a Uyghur genocide denialist stream. Which, that makes me pretty suspicious of this person. Clara, is this person... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not talking. I'm not, I'm not off on left field here. You could use your ML knowledge to grift. It seems easy. Here's the thing that I don't understand. Here's what I don't get it. MLs. MLs always talk about, we're not tankies. We're not tankies. And you know what? To be fair, I've met some MLs who aren't tankies or who don't seem to be tankies. Why do they promote people like Caleb Maupin? And why do they work with people like this guy? I don't get it. What benefit could it possibly have? Maupin is like trash. Yeah, they call themselves tankies as a joke. Well, a joke. Ugh. Why? What would? What do they win by this? Tanky just means authoritarian leftist we don't like, and I'm fine with that. Well, I usually say, well, yeah, I mean, basically, yes. I know that tanky is like, yeah... Nine out of ten non-tanky MLs are one beer away from full tankydom. Yeah, it's possible. MLs are just Stalinist. Are they all? I don't know. Maybe I've been too nice. I hope not. I feel like I get along with some with some ML types. I don't, I just can't imagine like apologizing for a fucking state, like especially to this degree. I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, it was. Wait a minute. Okay, well, I know that he, like, coined the term, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's, like, directly that. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. There we go. There we have it. MLs who aren't tankies aren't MLs. Marxism-Leninism was coined as a term by Stalin. The entire ideology itself was con conceived under Stalin's leadership. I didn't know that. I didn't actually know that. I've always been very favorable. I didn't know that it was... Yeah, Zanzi, we're talking about tankies. Wait a minute. Zanzi, didn't you recently convert to being a tanky? No, I'm just kidding. Didn't you recently convert to ML? Uh-oh. 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 Listen to me. Somehow I missed this memo? Somehow I missed this memo, and this is making me a little bit, uh... This is making me do the little, uh-oh. This is making me do a little, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, let's find out. Let's get to the bottom of this. I believe Clara. Clara is well-read on this stuff. But let's find out. Mm. See, I always thought, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, and maybe I'm a dumb dumb for this, but I warned you, I'm not a theory brain. I try to talk about more, you know, practical, immediate things. Um, but my, I always thought that, I knew that, that Stalin coined the term Marxism-Leninism, but I didn't know he invented the entire, like, ideology. I thought that they just kind of adopted the term. Hmm. Zanzi, that sounds a little... Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. 
I do I do like you, Zanzi, and I do trust you, by and large. But that sounds a little, sounds a little bit, I don't know. We'll have to talk about it sometime. You were a parliamentary candidate in my city for the Communist Party of Canada in 2018-2019. I remember that. Zanzi, come get in the site chat. Can you get in the site chat tonight? Zanzi, we need you on here. Marxism-Leninism is one of the main communist ideologies. Okay, I know this. This is the easy stuff. I'm doing the Wikipedia thing here, right? Official state ideology of the Soviet Union, ruling parties of the Eastern Bloc, Communist International after Bolshevization. The goal of it was, who fucking invented it? Where's the term? Who the fuck? Let's go here. Hmm. 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 Where's Stalin? I just want to find out if it was, I want to find out how much influence. I just want to see for my own eyes. That's all. I, not that I don't trust you. Stalinism. As an ideology, it was developed by Joseph Stalin in the late 1920s based on his understanding of a synthesis of both Orthodox Marxism and Leninism. Today, Marxism-Leninism is the ideology of Stalinist and Maoist political parties, remains the official ideology of the ruling parties of China, Cuba, Laos, and Vietnam. Hmm. Yeah, it's chat. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just do the chat command. I don't know why the chat command isn't working. There it goes. There it goes. Hmm. Red fascism. Oh. Anti-Stalinist left and other left-wing critics. I mean, wow. Damn. Okay. Have I been a fool? Have I been taken for a ride because I am too trusting of people? That would make me unhappy. Because everybody always told me that Marxism-Leninism was not Stalinism. But now, now that I'm going and reading about this specific... like. And, and I'm just, I'm just saying, yeah, that makes sense. But I mean, Nazis, like, well, I guess they don't listen. I don't want to, that's rude. I don't want to do that. Hmm. 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 I mean, obviously, it's all inherently corruptible. All things are corruptible. Nothing is not corruptible. But the thing that I understood was that, like, I always, I was under the impression, I didn't know that, like, this makes me sound like a dum dumb, but I just didn't know that this was, that, like, Marxism-Leninism was, like, the main thing developed by Stalin. I thought that was called Stalinism, and I thought Marxism-Leninism was its own fucking fork, but I didn't realize that they were one and the same, and it's, it, it kind of bothers me, you know? I don't know. That kind of bothers me because I've been trusting a lot of ML people because, again, I'm not a huge theory nerd. I tend to just think through politics and come to my own conclusions based on what I know. And then if there's something I need to learn more about, I go and read about it. And I've read some theory. I've read most of State and Revolution. Um, I've read uh, Reform and Revolution. I've read a bunch of shit from anarchists. Um, but anyway... It, theory is for nerds, but and I believe very much in being able to make accessible content. But this is a little bit throwing me for a loop. So I appreciate this insight. I was not aware that they, that, that like literally it's the same thing. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Stalinism is a term used by critics to deride Marxism, Leninism, but no one actually identifies as that aside from the followers of Enver Hoxha. You, oh yeah, you do the Hoxha posting. The first secretary of the party of labor from Albania from 1941 until his death in 1985. Hmm. I didn't know that. I've heard of this this Hoxha thing, but I'm not very well uh, versed on Hoxha. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So then. Hmm. We're chatting about um, tanky doomcock and and then Marxism Leninism as a larger uh, conversation, because. Um, Hmm. Anyway, uh, sorry. Um, what was I saying? My brain just went. Oh yeah, we're talking about uh, Marxism-Leninism, about what, what, how that connects with like Stalinism, how that, uh, like, whether I've been lied to by a lot of people that I've talked to and tried to get to the bottom of, 
um, with regards to Marxism and Leninism. It's a little little shitty. That would that would be a little shitty if people that I was like, hey, I don't know about this ideology. Why don't you teach me about your ideology? And then they were just lying to me. Good thing I never trusted authoritarians. <laughs> Yeah, you're never going to get me. Never going to happen. Fucking authoritarianists. Never going to get me. I'm too much of a stinky American. That's how it goes. Difference between Marxism, Leninism, Trotskyism, and Stalinism, and Maoism. Okay, let's see. This is uh, Marx is perhaps the most uncertain ideology of the Marxist school of privacy because we're still reading Marx and thus also keep, in, keep interpreting it. Okay. Oh, this is a big read. This is a big read. All right, I will read this at a later point. I will say I will save this. And I will look at this and see what I can find out. It's time for me to do it's becoming apparent that I'm going to have to learn more about this and that I can't trust people to self-describe their own ideologies. Yeah, I'll read well I'll, I'll read it. I here's the thing. It seems interesting, so I'll give it a read. Is this the place? Is this a place to escape the horror and dread of my environmental studies exam, or this is this is more doom? This is not doom. We're in the fun half. We're having fun right now. We've discovered a fellow um, who appears to be a secret alter ego of the um, infamous anti SJW YouTuber Doomcock, but he's a tanky. We're having fun. We're having fun. It's okay. We're only going to be going into. We're only going to be seeing if this guy is a genocide denier. Let's find out. Let's find out. Clara, thank you. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, Clara, I, did, I didn't even see this. Basically, in 1956, the Communist Party of Soviet Union released the secret speech that condemned Joseph Stalin's cult of personality and various international parties like Albania and China disagreed with the USSR's assessment and it split the international communist movement, as well as them dropping the term di dictatorship of the proletariat in favor of the term di dictatorship of all peoples. So Maoists and Hoxists Hoxaists consider the USSR post-1956 revisionist and consider themselves anti-revisionist. Oh. Weekly winter, have a wonderful night. Rest well, and I hope your tummy stops hurting. Thanks for hanging around today. It was great to have you. Um, mm, this sounds like religion. This sounds like re religion. It's religious, but it's interesting. But it sounds religious. It sounds religious. It is like religion. Okay. It, it it does sound a little bit like religion. Because here's the thing. I grew up religious. And when I hear people arguing about doctrines um, and stuff like that, and excommunication and heresy, or sorry, not heresy, revisionism and anti-revisionism, that just sounds like, um, yeah, it just sounds like um, it, 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 it makes me go, oof, ex-potato. Yes, ex-potato. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is fun. It's fun, Gray Dutch. Come join us on the site chat. Come hang out. You can come be cozy with all of us. There's like 80 people in the chat right now. It's awesome. If you read the scriptures of Marx and Lenin and join the party and help spread the good word, you'll be absolved of your sins and a new world will be born from blood and hellfire. That sounds terrifying, Clara. I don't like that doesn't sound good. And it doesn't sound like something Marx or Lenin would have liked from what I've read of them. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But like when I read Lenin, like Lenin seemed like a pretty serious guy, but he didn't really seem like he was super hyped about the um, like like Lenin wrote about how he hated cops all the time and how like cops were shit. And then I'm like, hey, I can get behind that. Cops beat the shit out of people for no reason all the time. And he's like, yeah, you got to be careful because cops will just do the same thing if you if you take over and fucking use the cops in the same way. And Marx is like. Uh, definitely not like that. Hmm. Damn. Zanzi, I'm a Republican socialist. I don't just self-describe as an ML. I just have very sympathy with the tendency as a revolutionary guide and also see its flaws and shortcomings. Susceptibility for hegemony to compromise the democratic centralism process. Yeah, see, here's the thing. That's what I've talked about in the past. When I've had... Now, again, I come from... I am... I am... I am demon mama. I'm not some kind of theory god. I'm just a political ed edutainer. So when I debate with people, um, I've said like, hey, here's my problems with, with Marxist-Leninist thought, and I get a lot of pushback. I think you all saw my debate um, with an ML, which I think was Mel recently, and we kept getting at that one point where I'm like, well, how do you stop it from getting like hijacked? 
Like how do you, when you, when you, when you make power so central, doesn't that mean that all it takes is a roll of the dice that you get a bad person in that central position and without meaningful checks and balances, how do you balance that out? Many of the Soviet satellite states of the USSR were also post-monarchies that had populations accustomed to a mix of religion and state. What, what's its use as a revolutionary guide? Uh, the revolutions that have resulted from overly ML parties taking over have not produced good results. I mean, by and large, I agree. But again, we don't really have a whole lot of good states in the country. It does feel, at least in my experience, it does seem that it's very frequently hijacked. And I'm not going to say that like all ML states have, are failures or whatever, because I mean, it seems to me like there have been some good outcomes in places like Cuba and Vietnam at a pretty high cost. But... I'm just a little confused about certain aspects of this. Hmm. But again, my position has never changed. I have always, uh, you know, well, not always, because obviously when I was younger, I was, wasn't like this, but I have a lot of critiques of, um, of, uh, what's the word? Um, authoritarianism. I have a whole lot of it because I worry. And, and when I look at stuff like this, when I look at these sort of structures, I go putting all the power in one place seems to have like historically be a really bad thing. That's the difference actually between the revisionist and anti-revisionist. If you ask Mel, none of the current ML countries have been hijacked. If you ask the Maoists or the Hoxists, they say that they have been. God, I watch infighting all day because I have a lot of Maoist friends who constantly go at the MLs. Ha <laughs> ha, ha ha, wait a minute. Thank you, Clara. You've given me another argument. Look at this. Leftist unity. Oh, no. Leftist unity against Maoists and MLs hate each other. <laughs> I knew leftist unity didn't exist. I knew it. Antonio Gramsci spoke on this, that you need to contest the hegemonic common sense in a state and resist the ideological formation of reactionary characteristics that will, over time, compromise the structure. So it needs to be progressive and insists on democracy and participation. Hmm. Well, but what happens if, like, um, hmm. Is there a distinction between Maoists and MLMs? Yeah, as far as I know. Well, of course. Of course. There is a distinction between Maoists and, and MLM. Wait, wait. Maoists and MLMs? Isn't an MLM a Marxist-Leninist Maoist, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Um, which is another branch of... They're not strict Maoists, but... I'm, try, I'm trying to keep these straight. I, I, I try to keep them straight, but it's a little bit difficult. It's all a LARP in the US. Everything is a LARP. Let's be honest. Listen. Listen, I don't like, like high-level LARPing, but everything is a LARP. Everything is a LARP, okay? Well, yeah, because we, yes, there's no leftist unity because leftists don't agree on anything except for, well, I don't know. We don't agree on anything because we think about things uniquely. We don't fucking fall into line regimented unless you're, wait a minute, unless you're a fucking authoritarian. And then I have a question. Why the fuck, how the fuck are you? Hmm. Sus. Maoism can refer to Marxism, the Marxism, Leninism, let me try this again. Oh, um, yeah, uh, Great Dutch, just to address, what's the general vibe here? Um, I am, I always describe myself, I am a leftist with anarchistic leanings. I tend to be very partial to anarchistic philosophy, but I'm not some kind of a big theory head. Um, I just like to talk about things, um, the way that I think about them. And if you find that interesting, I try to direct you towards stuff that you can learn more about it. And, um, traditionally, I've bumped heads with authoritarians a lot, and I don't tend to think very highly um, of authoritarian, um, solutions because they seem very flawed to me. Again, I I'm not a super theory head. Um, I just try to be as informed as I can and I'm open to being wrong, um, when I am wrong. But a lot of times I'm, some, well, not a lot of times, that sounds really egotistical, but sometimes I'm not wrong. And it seems like on this authoritarian thing, I haven't really been convincingly proven wrong yet. Um, if that's possible, but I, I haven't found convincing arguments to convince me that authoritarianism is a good way to go. Yeah, I, I understand that. Well, that's the thing, right? I mean, that's why I don't do theory. That's why I don't do theory streaming. I love reading about it because sometimes you can learn really fucking great stuff. Like, for example, I read Reformer Revolution by Rosa Luxemburg, and I feel like it was really in informative. I learned a whole bunch of stuff. But I wouldn't go around, like, grabbing all of these terms and just spitting them back out. Oh, let me read Clara's comment. Sorry, I missed that, Clara. 
Maoism can refer to Marxism-Leninism, Mao Zedong thought, which is Marxism-Leninism applied to the material conditions of China. Okay. So it's just MLism in China. Marxism, Leninism, Maoism was synthesized as an ideology by the Communist Party of Peru in the in the early 1980s. Interesting. Oh yeah, it's right here. Gray Dutch, it's right here. Come on and hop on in. It's on my website, demonmama.com forward slash live. We have tons of emotes, like super cozy in here. It's great. We'd love to have you. And you can also join the Discord if you're interested. If you're enjoying it here, we have a great Discord. And you also get to know when I go live. Ding. Um, hmm. Yeah. You see, I'm a horde, but I'm also an undead, which is allied with the Forsaken Legion, which is kind of its own thing, which broke with the horde. Yeah. Tendency is cancerous? I mean, yeah, I guess so. Tendency. Hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. All right. Um, Clara, I need to have you on to talk about MLism. We're going to talk about this at some point. Yeah. I'll ha not tonight because I'm at hour six and a half and we need to finish this video. But I would love to talk to you about this at some point. So maybe we'll work that out. Oh, is there more delay on site chat? That could just be, I don't know what would cause that. It is more cozy. Site chat is definitively more cozy. We even have more wonderful emotes. Like, I mean, you can get this one. Look at that. Very nice. You can get this one. It's fucking great. It's fucking great. So cozy. And there's all these little things you can do. Hey, did you know that there are secret add-ons you can do like this? Watch. Watch this. Boom. Amazing. Zanzi. I'm also very anti-authoritarian. Irish republicanism is built on the idea of rejecting imperialist monarchies to produce a national state where the public is a commons collective controlled by the people, not its upper classes. Hmm. Well, I like that in theory. So that sounds interesting to me in theory. Um, but yeah, maybe we can talk about it some more in the future. Um, found it. Gonna lurk and write about the environment. Hell yeah. Feel free to listen and hang out. We're having a lot of fun in here. So let's, let's, uh, uh, Clara, I will, if you want to hang around, you might be able to comment on this guy that you're more familiar on. That would be fun. But we'll talk. We'll have a formal talk in the future. That would be hella cool. I would love to hear you talk about it. Because as I understand it, you're like really well versed on theory. And that sounds fucking cool as shit. So yeah. All right. Let's finish watching Tanky Doomcock. Let's see how quickly he jumps into ap Apologia. Let's see. We're doing this. Is that why your face is covered? Most likely. I mean, um, I am... An attorney, I work at a big firm and whatnot, but it's more about family uh, and friends. I talk to so many mm. uh, people from my political background and my, you know, racial, cultural background and whatnot. And people like me are often targeted uh, when we mm. speak out on issues like this. You know, um, I know so many uh, comrades of mine really uh, get harassed by police, get doxxed by, uh, you know, Nazis and neo Nazis. I mean, and that's whatnot. true. Uh, they get harassed and things of that sort. Uh, it's not fun. And yeah. um, it, it's really something I, I have to say that it's nothing. Wait, really? Does Doomcock really have that much voice control? Damn. Why? Why would he turn? Why would he become so intolerable? And why would he wear a toilet on his head? For the same reason, maybe this guy's wearing all this, this get up. I obviously am willing, willing, ready, and able to risk, you know, my career and whatnot. I, I'm not really concerned about that. The more concerned thing that I'm about is being passionate about oh, shit. what is going on here. However, I know the dangers that I'm putting my families and other at risk uh, if this is revealed. I think, and I, I, I think yeah, yeah. Pe people really don't appreciate um, how, how uh, and how ironic it is, too. These people who are talking about free speech and freedom and people being <laughs> oppressed— but th this is a common is a B-52 strike on a Taliban training camp in Badakhshan. It's like within six yeah. months, she says, oh, no, it was just mental abuse. And then later. 
a oh. certain number of people are exposed that they're actually working for Wait. the CIA or one of the main people turns a, uh, I forget her name, uh, in uh, Adrian Zenz's uh, most recent um, uh, sterilization story. I, yeah, she, yeah, she, I, she, I know she, her. I, yeah, she yeah. changed her story within six months. Like within six yeah. months, she says, oh, no, it was just mental abuse. And then later it turned into, oh, I was kicked in the stomach until I was bleeding and can't have babies anymore. It's like that's a pretty big change in story in six months. Or Uyghur activists online whose age of their family keeps changing every time they talk about them. Or I mean, you, um, you did the interview, uh, Daniel, uh, with uh, Arsalan, uh, oh, the Uyghur activist who basically yeah. as a whole. Oh, yeah. So this guy is just a straight up Uyghur genocide denialist. Nice. Nice meme. Very, very awesome. Love. Love it when people just straight up deny bad things because they feel like uh, fuck imperialism. That is really stupid and extremely annoying. Yeah, you know, there's these MLs at one point. Sorry, I should just say this. These tankies at some point, I don't know if they were MLs or not or whatever, but they were tankies, sent me a bunch of articles about, uh, like, they sent me this document, this master document, and, like, 10 different MLs have sent me this master document about disproving the... Um, the 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 Uyghur genocide and it's like a 150 page article that starts with a giant preamble talking about the glory of China and all this shit and I'm like are you fucking kidding me are you fucking kidding me yeah sorry if my uh my my skeptic alarms go way the fuck off when you have to preamble your genocide denialist piece um your genocide denialist uh article um, with a huge screed about, um, a, a huge screed about how, um, China's the best and, and America is a liar and everything that comes out of America is always a lie no matter what. Yeah, I mean, this is like, like, they literally have, they confirmed China itself, like, China themselves confirmed these camps exist, and then they put out these obviously fake videos of them having a good time in prison camps i'm sorry but that is extremely sus can you imagine if can you imagine if we had like a video here in america of like our immigration camps and there were just like actor or like in, in, in uh, people who were um inmates that were just like lying and t t t uh dancing and, and smiling and going, we're having a great time in this giant prison camp that has concrete walls and barbed wire over it that we can't leave. Yeah, I'm not saying to believe every single story, but come on, right? Like, it, do you think that there's like, I wonder if over in the, I wonder, I mean, I'm sure there are, obviously there are. This is like when Republicans try to deny that um, America has internment camps and when they try to deny the fact that there were people who've had their fucking wombs removed. Damn. Sneaky. They might have covered their tracks. Who knows? Well, good job. Good snooping, Cointel Bones. They do have a lot of similarities. Chud's video is very funny on it. I don't know um, if, it's, if it's true, but they do have a lot of similarities and they talk about some of the similar issues. Let's uh let's let's watch what this guy's got to say. Actually, you know what? I want to do another cursory search first before we watch anything else. Because I just want to see um real quick. Let's just let's just find real quick. Hold on. Okay, so they don't have anything any videos about the Holodomor that I can see. Unless I spelled it wrong. Did I spell it wrong? Hello tomorrow. Okay. I don't think they do then. I didn't spell it wrong. Let's see if they've got anything on here. Is electoralism dead? Hong Kong and Western media. Socialist inspiration for 200,000 comrades. Western media and Venezuela. The comrade report. Very sincere message from the NFL. What's this? The NFL family is greatly saddened by the tragic events across our country. <clears throat> The protesters' reactions to these incidents reflect the pain, anger, and frustration that so many of us feel. <clears throat> Our deepest condolences go out to the family of Mr. George Floyd and to those who have lost loved ones. <clears throat> as current events dramatically underscore, there remains much more to do as a country and as a league. <clears throat> we recognize the power of our platform and communities and as part of the fabric of American society. <clears throat> we embrace the responsibility. 
I don't get it. Am I supposed to be able to understand this? What is this? Is this saying like, is this, what is this saying like, I'm just confused. Yeah, I think this is like clickbait. This person has more subscribers than me. What the fuck? That's, you know what annoys the shit out of me? You know what annoys the fucking shit out of me? And this is, this is totally selfish. I'm going to be completely honest. This is my inner clout shark coming out. It annoys me that all the fucking MML, MLs have way more followers than me. What the fuck? All of them. Every last one of them. Now, to be fair, maybe it's all of the MLs following one another. But what the fuck? I have no followers by comparison. Sure. Yeah, make me feel better. I would love to feel better at the moment. Well, I, I'm not brand new. I've been streaming for almost a year. I'm not brand new. <laughs> they are terminally online. That's true. It's pointing at the hypocrisy of releasing a statement in support of BLM while their actions and direct and are directly contrary to supporting BLM. At least that was my takeaway. Oh, okay. So like the same thing that like um that all of the right wingers do when those things come out. That's like on literally um. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Danabo. Um, lonely, oh lonely Danbo. Uh, come join. We have a site chat. We have a website where our custom home chat is. It's all co cozy. I'm an anarchist, and that means you have to compete among a large group of anarchist content creators. There are very few Marxist-Leninist content creators, and I've never met one with over 50k subs on any given platform. Huh. So what you're saying is they have a lower barrier to entry. Um, because they follow each other faster, but they have a high, they have a, like a really firm ceiling basically. Hmm. Well, I'm not, I'm not really an, I don't identify as an anarchist. I mean, some people call me that, but I guess that doesn't make a difference, right? Cause they'll, they'll see me as that anyway. I just have anarchist leanings. I, I, I don't, I'm just a leftist. That's all I, I just want people to live a good life. I just want healthcare, please. But I guess I do circ end up in those circles. That's fair. Okay, I see. I do feel better. That does make me feel better. Okay, so that means I'll, but I, I'll, I'd rather deal with a harder learning curve. You don't watch because I'm an anarchist. I watch because you're one of the few streamers willing to debate anyone on anything. That's true. I am willing to debate. Well, okay, I'm not willing to debate anyone on anything, but almost anyone on almost anything. Yeah. You said in regards to the USSR, I don't know how anyone could pledge allegiance to a state, and I immediately thought you were an anarchist. Well, I mean, okay, that's true. Okay, okay, that part is true. I am, have a deep distrust of states. Um, I have a, a deep distrust of states. Oh, um, I don't do really dumb discussions. Like, um, I won't debate, uh, I won't do, like, shit like the, the necrophilia debates. I think that's a stupid waste of everyone's time. Um, and is, is not good for the platform or for anyone. Like, yeah. Um, uh, the other thing I won't do is I won't platform or debate, um, like extremely dishonest propagandists. So like, I wouldn't, like, I would probably not talk to somebody like, um, like, hmm, who's a great example of this? Um, like Steven, well, I don't know. I probably would try and do Steven Crowder, uh, if I could get it honest. But the thing is what I'm worried about is that, um, what I'm worried about is like somebody like Milo Yiannopoulos being able to dishonestly frame a discussion I have and unintentionally platform. Yeah, like I wouldn't debate Nick Fuentes. Um, I don't think. I don't think I would talk to Nick Fuentes. Nick Fuentes is a good propagandist, but he's dishonest as fuck. And even though I could beat him in a debate, it would like be it would be like debating a young earth creationist. You know what I mean? Like you're not gonna win, even if you're right, even if you do real good. I mean, I might be able to. Um yeah, I could ask him what boogers taste like. I could just engage in really bad faith and just dunk on him. Um, but I worry, here's what I worry about. The thing that I, um, the thing that I worry about is that, um, a lot of really, really like, um, dishon, like deeply dishonest, uh, Machiavellian propagandists are willing to basically do anything to win. And they're not looking to convince your audience. They're looking to find like people in your audience who are at danger that they can scoop into their little, into their little circle a little bit closer. They're looking to identify people who are hurting, who are, um, you know, alone. And they're trying to find those people in any audience they're in and scoop them into their little pipeline. So I worry about platforming that type of person pretty seriously. Um, and if I was going to do it, I would be sure that I would have put in so much thought into the process that there would be no way that he could weasel out of it. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, to a certain degree. 
Um, I highly doubt any of my viewers would turn into a Nazi also, but you never know who, who might be watching. Like somebody might come by and they might be in a place where they're really bad and they could get scooped into this, into this uh, highly propagandistic, deranged worldview. And I worry about that because that is how like young earth creationists work, right? Like, um, like Ken Ham, for example, y'all know Ken Ham, this guy, I can show you what he looks like. Um, let me just show you what this guy looks like. You know, this guy, right? You know, this guy right? The guy who did the, uh, the Genesis museum, this guy, here he is. This guy, this guy, you know, this guy, Ken Ham, this guy is a propagandist and he's a Machiavellian propagandist. Like the guy does. Yeah. The banana guy, he doesn't give a shit about how stupid his worldview looks. And people like, uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, for example, wouldn't debate him. They wouldn't debate Ken Ham. Um, because, uh, <laughs> Epic stream. My three three years as a communist politician is now useful for something. I mean, I think it's useful for all kinds of things, right? You know a lot of shit. I'm um I'm very happy um to discuss these things with you, and hopefully we can have an even longer discussion in the future because it's actually super interesting, and I think there's stuff to be learned from it. Um, and I found your input very informative, and has done exactly what I hope to do, which is give give myself and the audience where to look. Well, now we know if we want to learn about MLM that we want to look to their the history out of Peru. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome. That gives me a great start on where to go learn about stuff. That's based as fuck if I do say so myself. Um yeah. Um but yeah, sorry, not to jump all over the place, but people like Ken Ham, they know they are not playing nice. What they're hoping to do is to get in front of as big of an audience as possible as big of an audience as possible and find anybody in that audience who they might be able to exploit. And that is what it is. It is exploitation and, and manipulation. People like Nazis are lying. They lie all the time. They lie about Jewish people. They lie about their worldview. They're, it's horrible misinformation and it's toxic as fuck. And they have to find vulnerable people who are vulnerable to that type of exploitation and exploit them. And that's why I have to be very careful about that type of platforming. Now, um, really unskilled propagandists, give them to me. Bring them on. That's why I'm really happy to debate people like, um, you know, Rob Knorr, people who are really bad at making their viewpoints heard. I love talking to those people because they're bold as fuck and dumb as shit. And you can easily show where their lies are are because they don't even know what they're fucking talking about. You can reveal their lies. But when you talk to somebody like a Nick Fuentes, um, yeah, maybe he did, he, he kind of did blow me the fuck out. It's true. He did scream over me. That was a, a huge success on his part. Um, but when people like Ken Ham or even Nick Fuentes, they're not ever going to engage honestly with you. You're, they're going to go in there with the main goal of dropping their talking points that are, um, that are there to grab those exploit exploitable people. It's not that I'm giving Fuentes too much credit. It's that I'm giving successfully delivering the emotional impact of their weird ideology um, a lot of credit. And it, and it and the reason why um, I do that is because I came from a I came from a cult. I grew up in a cult, and I know that there are people out there in nearly every audience who could be. Um, vulnerable to this type of, of, of ideology. And those people, all they want is an audience because they just want to find every exploitable person that they can. And so you have to be careful with that type of person. And um, yeah, this is, a, this is a sort of opinion that I've had about platforming for a long time. It has to be very done very carefully. It has to be done responsibly. I still think talking to these people more exposes their idiocy and leads to less overall followership for, to them, but maybe I'm being naive. As long as that person is exposed, is good at exposing their idiocy. Yeah, but some of them are not. Like, um, Milo Yiannopoulos got absolutely owned by, by, uh, by Jangles, the science lad, like completely owned, completely owned. Um, and, uh, like, like Milo Yiannopoulos got owned, but I've seen a lot of examples of people who should have been able to expose Milo Yiannopoulos totally fail because Milo Yiannopoulos went in and was like, haha, here's some jokes, here's some banter, and also misogyny, and also, haha, hehe, <laughs> also pedophilia, and also, ha 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 ha, regressive worldview. So Jangles did really, really good because he didn't allow that to happen at all. 
but not everyone can do that. And there's big risk. So you have to go in with that very carefully. You know that Milo Yiannopoulos made an entire career out of doing just that, out of going to audiences and endearing himself with jokes and, and friendly banter and seeming like the nicest guy you've talked to who just has an edgy sense of humor. That was his entire career, all the while promoting Nazis. So yeah, I take it a little bit, I do take that a little bit seriously and I worry about it. But I do generally believe, again, I debate all the time. I do generally believe that debate is good, but I think we have to do it carefully. That's the long rant um, that I went on about my thoughts on platforming. Um, yeah. Okay, so, um, hey, this is a better video. Let's watch this guy's video about voting. Let's hear what he has to say about voting. I'll, I'll debate basically anyone, but not necessarily anyone, but basically anyone. Yeah. And I think I can do a good job too. Yeah. My dad drove Milo Yiannopoulos three years ago. He gave my dad a copy of his book, which my dad passed down to me. Actually contributed to me going down the pipeline, with su which sucks. Yeah. You know what's funny? Back when I was like, before I knew anything about leftism, when I was just coming out of, um, when I was just coming out of, um, of Christianity, I read some of Milo Yiannopoulos' articles and I thought they were funny and edgy. And so I just thought he was a free speech guy. And I got totally fooled until I realized, holy shit. Yeah. Until I realized how just how vicious he actually was and who he was involved with. Milo Yiannopoulos is, was, I don't think he's that good at it anymore. I think he's kind of dropped on his face recently. But um, he is... Um, or has been in the past a very effective propagandist and he does it by being totally dishonest running down the clock like doing friendly banter that makes him sound good and then he'll drop off these these couple little hooks that are supposed to find people in those audiences again yeah I think for Zanzi says, I think for debate to be effective, both sides need to be willing to meet and contest the views, not filibuster past the points. That's true. I was talking about this on stream the other day. Um uh, I think the thing that sucked people in was the contrarianism. That's the kill shit. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Have I watched TBR, Hannah, and Jake? I've seen, uh, you mean actual Jake and Hannah Reloaded? Um, I've watched both of them independently, but I've never watched TBR. I don't know what TBR is, but I do watch Hannah Reloaded. I was just hanging out in Hannah's chat the other day, and I watch, I've watched Jake and been on panels with Jake. It's really cool. Yeah. I don't, I don't think M Milo Yiannopoulos is funny. I think he's had a few funny things that he's written in the past, but I don't think he's like a particularly funny person. He oversells his funniness. He's had a few funny moments, but he's not all that funny. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, he does have a bit of a dry sense of humor. But I appreciate dry humor. I just think he's a tryhard. All right. Let's do this. Let's watch this. Let's watch it. Here we go. Whoops. Here we go. My fellow Americans. Now that... Now come on! That sounds like Doomcock! That sounded just like Doomcock! God, God damn it. Oh, the Bible reloaded. Oh, that's really cool! Gray, that's fucking awesome. I should check out some of their their uh, the old the old name of their channel. That sounds fucking great. Um, I know that Hannah does some really cool stuff. Hannah was doing a um a thing on James Randi the other day, and that was awesome. That was fucking based. I gotta go hang out over there more frequently. I had fun the other day. We I I, I uh, helped start a hype train, and that was fun. Much love to Hannah's community. Anyway, let's let's watch this. My fellow Americans. My fellow Americans. My fellow Americans. My fellow American. My fellow Americans. <laughs> okay. Is your guard down? Are you feeling calm enough for the amount of lies and manipulation that I will sling at you? Yes. How many times have you told this phrase before the greatest crimes against humanity were ever committed? My fellow Americans will put you at ease while those most vulnerable all over the world brace. They do talk similarly. For they do talk similarly. It's true. I think it's possible. I think it's plausible, but pro but maybe not. I'm not going to say anything. Is this TOS? I don't think so. No, I don't believe so. The oppression 
They will fix. And Twitch clarified that you can you could talk about news events and stuff like that on st on stream. So through our guns and our bombs. Let me rephrase the start of this speech, not with the line of manipulators, but with one single word. A word that embraces all people of every race, nationality, sex, gender, religion, color, physicality, they might. Yeah, they and probably background. just realistically, I I'm memeing a little bit about the Doomcock thing. I, I think it might just be the same voice changer. Is the word shrimp toast? Shrimp toast? Shrimp toast? Shrimp simp toast? It's a laptop stand. Oh my god, you're not lying. It's a fucking laptop stand. Nice dude. Nice podium. So that means so that means that 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 he's got this on another table. Just out of view, there's another table. Because if this is a laptop stand, it just came in. What are we watching? Yeah, this is um this is tanky Doomcock. Apparently there's this guy who sounds exactly like Doomcock. Um and he seems pretty toxic too, just like Doomcock. Doomcock is totally using a voice changer. There's no way. Hey, Pinkwug, happy to see you. Yeah, this is tanky. As far we don't know. Listen, we can neither confirm nor deny whether this is actually Doomcock, but the themes are similar enough. They're they're similar. So in spirit, this is tanky Doomcock. There you have it. Through unifying the oppressed by throwing off their chains. Yeah. Comrades. So are we finally ready to admit it? Have we all realized that campaigns, ballot boxes, speeches, and donations are not freedom and democracy? Yes, we have. We, I don't, I hope that nobody would believe that. Well, I mean, some people believe that, but none of us here believe that. But control and dominance over us, the people. How many times are we going to say we do not have a democracy? but an oligarchy. How many times are we going to die for liberals to realize that Biden or anyone else that they put up will not reverse any of- I would be the centrist by then. That's true. I would sound like a centrist. Wait, Doomcock is live right now? All right, let's see what Doomcock sounds live. Here we go. We're jumping from tanky Doomcock to actual Doomcock. Here we to, go. Uh, destroy and decanonize the sequel trilogy. But if, if they're looking to tie it into it and validate it, yeah, then uh, I hmm. I have a bad problem with it. I have to say, I have a bad problem with it. Uh, Grimlock destroys 85 with a fire. Yeah, this is what he sounds like with in, in, in not, not in his... Uh... His pre yeah, he uses a voice changer in his pre-made videos. 100%. This guy totally uses a voice changer, doesn't he? Yeah. He has 2,000... Yeah, this guy has 200,000 followers. Yeah, he's an anti-SJW. He, he, he's a grifter. Like, he's not huge. But, yeah. I think he... I want to see if I, I could find one of his videos where he has the thing on. Ooh. In the hopes of conning See? investors. See? He's using the same voice changer when he's in character. When he's on when he's on stream. Into throwing more money down the Kurtzman Trek sinkhole. A sinkhole so deep that Emma Watts has been called in to reboot, revitalize, and Yeah, so that's what he sounds like not on stream. Well listen, I'm not I'm streaming. I think I need to sit down. I'm pity the fool. Son of a bitch. You got me, Grimlock destroys eighty five. <laughs> it got me. Okay, yeah, I've had enough. I, I've had enough. Enough. I've had enough of this nonsense. Back to tanky Doomcock. Back to tanky Doomcock, okay? Listen. The fascistic we gotta focus. And fascistic progress that put us here in the first place. It's not those who don't vote that are to blame anymore. It well, it never was. It was never not. It was never that that those who don't. Well, okay, actually, it is actually kind of. No, it's not that they're to blame. It's just that they're not helping the problem. If you don't vote, you're not helping the problem. You're not f doing... I mean, you could be in another way, but not voting is is not helping. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? This is what we were talking about the other day. It's like, if you choose not to vote, you're only making it easier for the worst, for the worst of the candidate, candidates to get elected. Even if they're both bad, you're making it easy... But you're not helping it. That's the problem. And 
just so that everyone's 100% clear before people start getting mad about my takes on voting again. Remember, voting should be the least, the lowest form of political involvement that you have. However, it can still be useful. For example, not having Donald Trump plow us into uh, five more years of coronavirus deaths is actually really helpful. That's actually really, really good. It's actually really, really good if we can make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's very, very boring. It's boring, but it is poggers. It's poggers to not have Donald Trump as president. It's not poggers to have Biden as president, but it is poggers to not have Donald Trump. So there you go. Simple as that. It's those that vote that participate in this corrupt system. Those that vote for Trump. So wait a minute. He went from blaming the, he went from bla saying it's not the fault of people who don't vote. It's the fault of everyone who votes. This is what? That doesn't make any sense. I thought he was going to, okay, listen, I was being way too charitable again. I thought he was going to be like, listen, you can't blame people who don't participate in a system that doesn't reward them, which I agree with. I do agree that our system disincentivizes people from voting. And I urge people to try to vote anyway, because it makes it harder for the people who are outright fascists to take over. This is stupid. This is, this is, this is. This is a tanky who's stuck in a neoliberal mindset. How does that work? How does a tanky get stuck in a neoliberal mindset where they believe that voting is like a consumer choice instead of a strategic action? Yeah, I mean, that's 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 true, Purple Purper. Unfortunately, they might not be around to complain anyway. Do they? Do they have better aesthetics? Yeah, probably. I don't know. This is kind of cringe, honestly. This is a little cringe. Some do, maybe. Oh, hot take, Shooby Doo. True! True! Biden, and still have not seen the change we desperately need in this country, but think a ballot will make a difference. Do I need to address that one? yet still have the smug ignorance to say that we are privileged because we are calling it as we see it. Wait, this guy is literally a, this guy literally confe confessed, this guy literally confessed to, to being a lawyer at a large law firm. This guy is a lawyer and he's saying like, he's getting mad about people saying he's privileged. Dude, you are, a, you confessed on your own video to being a lawyer at a large San Francisco law firm. If you even live in San Francisco and you have a house, I'm not saying like, if you, obviously if you live on the streets in San Francisco, you're not doing so great. But if you have a place in San Francisco, you have some privilege. I consider myself, I'm poor as shit and I have a house over my head. That is privilege. Okay. I get why he needs to wear the mask, but why does he need the Darth Vader gloves? I don't know. Is is there like exposed wiring in his house that he doesn't want to get electrified by? I don't, these gloves are very strange. Maybe he doesn't want his fingerprints to appear on camera where people could zoom in and fingerprint him. Senators know how you strongly you feel. Court? Let vote now. Are you gonna pack the Make court? sure you, in fact, let people know you're a senator. I'm not going to answer the question Why because, you that because question? the you question is. Oh, maybe the she question is, is the radical question, left. Will you who shut is your, up, man? Listen, who is your, yeah, I think Cash McCrash. I think Bastiat is an energy lawyer. I don't know if he's specifically for fossil fuels. I don't know that much about him. Yeah, if you vote, you're taking part in a corrupt system. Works for a major law firm. Yeah, that's a little weird. Seems like you got a bit of a contradiction there, my dude. You are enacting the injustices we are suffering from by participating in a broken system that only manipulates for the benefit of the capitalists. We have only- What? How does that even follow? 
by by oh my god so what this guy's this guy's basic argument is that if you if you participate in a vote at all you're legitimizing a system at all even though that system might have an option between a fascist an outright fascist and a shitty milk toast neolib Hot take, not voting still means you exist in the system post-vote, so influence it in the direction that frustrates the establishment and return to resisting it. Agreed! Agreed! Thank you, Zanzi! Thank you! I don't know. That's a good question for Clara. Clara, maybe you know this. Rakasan Dragon has asked, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Lenin say that you should be involved with electoral politics but do more than just vote? Um... Maybe, yeah. I, I mean, I know there's a Marx quote that uh, maybe it was Lenin. Maybe it was Lenin who said that it's important for them to put up their own electoral candidates, even if they have no chance of winning. But I don't know. Um, I don't know if that translates to being involved in electoral politics. Oh, okay. Clara's going to answer in a second, Rakasan. Thank you. Sorry to just keep pulling on you, but thank you. It's it's great to have you here. Only one choice, not two. And it's not the choice we need. We okay, need you. Okay, but that's not true. That's not fucking true, though. We've already done this a hundred times. We've had this conversation a million times. Trump is worse than Biden in nearly every way. Never pull the switch on the trolley track because no matter how many people will die, if you don't participate, it's bad. Yeah, imagine, imagine thinking that just shrugging your shoulders. Yeah, I know, Dale Dan. I know. It's so fucking annoying. But we keep finding this shit. It's all over the place. I can't avoid it. I tried, and it still it comes to me. I didn't even... This isn't prepared content. I didn't even know about this guy. At the beginning of today's stream, I didn't know this guy existed. We found this during stream. It's like a virus. It chases me. Semp, you're a REM, a REM sub, by the way. Hey, that's cool. Listen, Rem does some some interesting stuff. I don't always agree with him, but some people really, I mean, he does some good stuff. It's a pandemic of B, of bobs. No, I shouldn't go that far. But it has been making me mad. Listen, um, off stream, I got pretty frustrated because I feel like I keep encountering this shit and it feels like I'm getting opt. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm getting opt personally. Getting personally opt. Universal health care during one of the worst pandemics in our history. We won't True, which Donald Trump did that. Donald Trump was the one who did all that shit. The Democrats, for all of their horrific flaws, did it wanted to do more than Donald Trump did by a considerable margin. That is a fact. And it was Trump who shot it down and Mitch McConnell. So he's just wrong. Get it. We need debt relief. Sorry, During this the just frustrates the shit out of me. Downturns for a majority of the people in the United States. We won't get it. We need justice and the power to determine our own destiny that is not tethered to a dollar bill or a rich man's bidding. We will not get it. Fair, Purple Purper. What will we get? We will get either well, accelerate- he deliberately did the preacher thing. He's like dressed up like an evangelical preacher or anonymous maybe. And then he's standing in front of a cheap ass podium with a, a red flag and a black flag in the background, which I thought that was anarcho-communism. Do you really think we would have gotten the kind of action that was required from the Dems? No, no, no. Uh, from the Dems though? No, I don't think we would have gotten the best one, but do you know how much better it would have been? We might have been a in a like Europe style situation rather than the like highest death rates in the world. One of the highest death rates in the world, not the highest, but one of the highest in the world. Is he dog whistling Ancom? How? Fascism. Yeah, Shumeki, I think some people like this literally think there's just like a magic switch. Maybe, just maybe, voting isn't an individual action and instead a decentralized means of collecting a national scale opinion on a choice. It's more of a social action than an individual action. Yes! So withdrawing from the process doesn't change the process in any way. It's still going ahead without you. Yes! 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 Wait. Tack. But... Mm. 
Yes, I agree with you, Tack. I agree with you. But that's not what he's arguing. He could be arguing that. That's what I argue. He's arguing that you're an idiot if you if you try to influence it so that it's slightly better than the worst option. Oh, it's just a BLM flag? Okay, so, okay, I get it. Good catch, good catch. Yes, like, literally, Obama set up a pandemic team, which Trump killed. That would have saved a lot of lives. A lot of lives who could become radicalized to become leftists. But they're dead now. It, is improved, it has been proved that far from causing harm to the revolutionary proletariat, participation, participation in a bourgeois democratic parliament... Oh my God, my words... It has been proved that far from causing harm to the revolutionary proletariat, participation in a bourgeois democratic parliament, even a few weeks before the victory of a Soviet republic, and even after such a victory, actually helps that proletariat to prove to the backward masses why such parliaments deserve to be done away with. It facilitates their successful dissolution and helps to make bourgeois parliamentarism politically obsolete. Left-wing communism and infantile disorder. Thank you. I'm going to save this quote. Not that a quote is necessarily going to prove anyone wrong, but it may prove useful for discussions in the future. Thank you for providing that. So let me let me make sure. Oh, thank you. That's also great. So let me just make sure that I'm getting this correct. So what we're saying, what what this is basically arguing is that we need like like not that we need to, but participation in the system can help show people that the system is, like, fucked, right? Yeah, 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 this guy, Dylan Burns. Yeah, yeah, this guy. I just discovered him, and now we're talking about him. This guy's a Uyghur genocide thing. Wait, what? Oh, did I miss something? Sorry. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so here's what I'm trying to trying to get at. The idea is not that voting is some intrinsic evil that if you touch it, you're helping bourgeois democracy. The goal is to use voting as a tool to radicalize people, a.k.a., hey, let's make sure the fascist doesn't get in, right? And then when you're disappointed with the inevitable failures of the shitty neoliberal who's in office, you will realize what we've been saying about the system being broken. Is this not a correct interpretation of what was said there? Is that not what I'm, am I, am I not, am I talking out of my ass or am I coming to a correct conclusion? James Connolly also advocated um, for a form of participating in bourgeois democracy uh, to show so slow, uh, to show how slow and resistance, uh, oh, uh, how resistant it was to genuine social change. Expose it through engaging with it and hold it to the account as the commodity of the rich to manage their affairs. Yes. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I've never once, I've never once come on here and said like, oh, voting is great. Neoliberals are awesome. I love Biden. Never. What I've literally, every conversation I've ever been in is Biden is shit, but we, we, we have to, we cannot function under Trump. All these quotes don't tell you which way to, to vote. They don't tell you which way to vote. They don't, they're, yeah, they're not, they don't tell you which way to vote, but you can use your brain and critical thinking skills to figure it out. Right? You can use critical thinking to figure out that, yeah, okay, so we, we can use bourgeois electoral systems to wreck, to help people recognize that these systems are fucked. We can use them to do that without just seeding it into the hands of the fucking fascies, right? Yes, I know, I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you, Irate Lump. Okay, I, I'm glad I'm not in left field here. I'm glad that that there are people of the, who lean more towards the ML side who aren't, who aren't like anti, like complete anti-voting people that just throw it out, out of hand. And listen, again, I understand that voting is not exciting, that it's the most boring thing, but I'm advocating to treat it as the minimal political involvement that you have so that we can improve circumstances for us to make more important change, which is what I talk about 99% of the time on this channel. Anyway, let's continue. 
or delayed fascism. Don't you get it, voters? We lost Heather. We lost Anthony. Okay. We lost Joseph. We lost Brianna. Hey, retcon. Wait, but this is, um... All right. I'm not even going to comment on it. This feels a little bit like, I don't know. I don't we know. Lost we lost George. We lost George. We lost George Floyd. We rioted for weeks, and you still think. Yeah, this feels like co opting. Do you think this guy went to any riots? When he says we went, we rioted for weeks, do you think this guy, this, this lawyer at a large firm, went to any riots? Hmm. Voting works? You still have faith in that racist democracy that was drummed up by slave-owning white elites who won't even allow a popular vote to win. We can no longer... Yes, but guess what? We don't even need a popular vote in order to make things better. I agree that we could do better with a popular vote, but in the current system, if we can convince people that going out and voting will make a better option, but also will never answer the core problems, people will actually realize the system. It's just so frustrating. It's just so fucking frustrating. Longer be the sacrificial lambs for the patience of liberals who continue to peddle false candidates because our front lines are stacked with the most vulnerable and they are getting killed every single day. It's time we put- Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? The Republicans would literally pay money to, to, have, to have people like this. I mean, maybe that's the case. Maybe that's exactly what's happening. I'm not, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting opt. Faith outside of the voting booth. It's time to Agreed, educate. Agreed, alien tongue. It's time to agitate, and it's time to organize. I'm not just talking to the leftists here. Everyone who has been screwed. How many non-leftists do you think watch this video? Well, he did get 11,000 views on it. It's not bad. Just saying. By this Maybe unjust some non capitalist did. system that has drained our culture to an individualist wasteland. Nothing is safe anymore. And yet, you're talking about it being an individualist wasteland, and yet your core argument is that people are sinning, politically sinning, by participating. <sighs> More. Our planet is burning faster and harder more than ever because of a crooked economic system that Agreed. places profits over every single living being on earth. Everyone must understand that capitalists would rather see this world. <laughs> Dylan Burns from Twitch chat says, how many non-leftists? I, a moderate Democrat, and am, ex am excited to hear what this genocide denying communist has to say about what I should do. <laughs> True. World burn either by global warming through their pollutants or nuclear holocaust through drumming needless world wars with other nations that can actually help us then give up their own wealth. Our sons and daughters are their cannon fodder to fuel their war machines to kill other innocent children for their own imperialism. Revolution is not coming, comrades. Because it's already here. It's been here ever since the first mother that had to decide whether to feed her kids or pay the rent. Zanzi says, I don't encourage voting as a means to enact revolution. I don't believe in reformism. But for the love of Christ, that doesn't mean you ignore a fascist attempt to consolidate power in the White House. It's fascism and neo neoliberalism in con Wait. If fascism and neoliberalism in control is the same to you, what do you have to lose with neoliberals in charge then? If we still need to organize afterwards, vote and keep doing what you're asking for. Okay, do you want to know? Do you want to know what I actually think it is? Do you know what I actually think it is? Like people like this, I think they they think very lowly of the average person. And I think they believe that the average person basically needs to be beaten into revolution. 
So that's the thing. That's what I think it is for a lot of these people. And I don't believe that. They, but they believe that basically a lot of, I've noticed this, and this is something I've, I've, um, I've encountered with other MLs, like not just MLs, but, um, specifically with tankies I've argued with in the past is that they will, they have this viewpoint that basically the average person is so stupid and, 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 and like cow-like that they need to be beaten or killed in order to be convinced that they need to change the system. But I don't think that's the case. Everyone's fucking miserable and we just haven't we just don't have a functional left that can give them an answer Do you do you look around your social group and see people who are doing great right now? Christ Yeah people yeah, I agree with him in the idea that a quote-unquote revolution is here now people want change But they don't know how because the education part hasn't been done but advocating to ignore a vote entirely, allowing a fascist to, as Zanzi said, consolidate power would make it worse for us. How are we going to educate anyone when we're being rounded up and put in, in fucking political camps or in political prison camps? I feel like that's not that big of a complicated fucking argument to understand and I don't think it's that radical to say that well maybe it is radical in some ways but I don't know I don't feel like I'm like out of left field but these people make me feel like I'm wild ever since the first father had to decide whether to work another five hours of work or get some sleep ever since the first child had to decide whether to go to school or go to work ever since the first slave walked on this country's shores yeah, sure. ever since that first you. native was forced from their own land or killed for defending what's rightful by the way this um while the the sentiment here is kind of like funny um while this is kind of like a a, a funny sentiment the only place i've ever seen this this uh sign sold was in republican gun shops and republican owned beef jerky shops i'm not kidding you it's it's it is this is like the deaf white guys buy this to feel better about themselves. I'm not kidding you. This thing, literally every single military surplus store, gun shop, or beef jerky store that is that has like Trump bumper stickers all over the place has this exact shirt, and it'll be like two white guys wearing this fucking shirt. You saw it in a Bass Pro Shop? Oh, come on. Bass Pro Shop. Come on. That's close enough. Jesus. Leave they there. sell wait, they sell guns there. It's a gun shop. What did I say? Ever since the first transgender person was unlawfully killed for just being who they truly Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm I can take offense to this. No offense to any of my MLE types out there, but ML states don't exactly have the best history of treating trans people very well. I don't know if you all know that. Just just so you know. Nor do Nazis. Nor do fucking fascists. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Did he say that? For defending what's rightfully theirs. Ever since the first transgender person was unlawfully killed for- Holy shit! He literally said that! Unlawfully killed! Oh my god! This guy's pathetic! Just being- who they truly are. This isn't new for us. It's something that we've always lived with and always been fighting against. They do believe in the death sentence, I know. Here, and we all knew the progress. But it's just very weird, Clara. It doesn't it feel weird that like that he would be talking specifically about trans people and then be like, oh, unlawfully killed. So what? We're like trans people who were killed by transphobes in Russia, like lawfully killed? Okay. Yeah. That was I mean, yeah, as opposed to lawfully killed for being who they were. Yeah, it's just fucking... The wording there is so bad. I'm sure he probably didn't... Have to, again, look at me. I'm fucking being too charitable to these people. Jesus. ...throughout our history can easily be Sus. reversed by the white capitalist power structure. You want to be the first Pisanus you know, Doomcock? Immediately after we... MK Ultra Orphan. To do that, you'll have to join the site chat. Join the site chat! Join that site chat! Our first black president. 
They replaced him with a white bigot capitalist who has his racist cronies on standby, ready to fire. Racist cronies on I'm sorry, white, wait. you know? Immediately after we got our first black president, they replaced him with a white bigot capitalist who has his racist- But Obama was also a capitalist. I don't know, whatever. Cronies I'm just, this is starting to exhaust my soul. What's a really weird juxtaposition is that I've met and talked to MLs from modern Russia, Greece, and other Eastern European countries, and they're still generally against LGBT people, but MLs in the US and Canada label any MLs who don't support LGBT people as Nazbols, even though they actually aren't. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, here's the one thing. I had a conversation once with an ML about rampant sexism and rampant traditionalism in ML circles. Why is that such a fucking problem? Why is traditionalism and sexism and misogyny and trans misogyny so common? Why is it that um, Caleb Maupin, who all of these MLs follow and engage with, literally talks with TERFs and, and literally talks about how trans people are part of a capitalist bourgeois agenda? Like, come on now. It's fuck. Oh, it's so fucked. This shit makes me mad. Stand by. Ready to fire. Supremacists and right like me to condemn proud boys. Ooh, and right the proud boys. Right. Stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left. Ready to fire. The White House has always been the White's house. But with all this... Uh, yeah, but he's playing trips of clips of... Trump showing Trump openly appealing to white nationalists as if that's not worse than Biden. It is. It's so much worse. Zanzi says, when I think of Marxism-Leninism, I think of the theory in its abstract and the authors itself. It's political theory. It's abstract until applied. I'm expecting people to consider it in relation to their local conditions and the local conditions takes precedence over the tradition. It's the condition that should inform your struggle, not the abstract theory. If they don't do that, I think they're shit MLs. Okay, that's an interesting take. Yeah, because I don't feel like authoritarian, uh, well, okay, maybe that's the wrong way to put it. I don't feel like a lot of the ML answers would work at all here in the United States, a place where, um, like, hard leftism has been, like, literally crushed and broken. Yeah. Um, Shemeki Ellen says, uh, could that be a large part because a lot of ML's ideologies uh, is a rejection of modernity, the same return to tradition BS? Maybe. It could be. It could be. I'm not going to rule that out for sure. Comrades. We have momentum too. Let the fascists and reactionaries and the Trumpers tremble with fear, anger, and spite at the Does that make you does that make anyone tremble with spite? Oh god, okay. Sight of Black Lives Matter and socialism. They are trying to violently avoid the truth that their history of blood, slavery, and oppression is something that they can simply sweep under the rug. No, no, that's not they justice. Are that's running They look like they would give you a hell of a fucking, uh, what's it called, contact burn if you did that thing on your arm, you know, when you like, when you twist somebody's arm and it gives them a contact burn. Oof, oof. Sounds like it would fucking hurt. Hey, from the responsibilities of their ancestors that placed them in that seat of power, position, and privilege. It's like Lord of the Rings music. It's yeah. a mentality in denial, manipulated by those on top, pulling the strings to protect their own wealth. But here is a guaranteed fact that doesn't care You're drowning? about your Here, I'll feelings. help you. Internet, we will here you go. Get justice. I'm pulling you out. Our movement, Come join the site chat, Internet Gas. And what's where the real cool, where the real chads folks, are. We are growing. But this has to be said for all leftists in order for our movement to become more effective. We cannot vote our way to a better future. Patently false. We can vote our way to a better future. We cannot vote our way to the ideal future. But we can do a we can vote our way to a better future. 
having Biden is better than Trump. It's incredibly simple. It's literally, oh God. Sure here. Stop wishing for a people's I've said this like 10 times. In this already corrupted bourgeois system, Bernie Sanders, AOC, Omar, and others are not going to be the saving grace that will reform the Democrats or create a third party. We need to let go of this false hope in a tainted democracy for something better. And that's going to be through our organizing, either through our organizations or leftist parties. We must let go of this corrupt system and demand a complete overhaul for a fairer, more just government and economy that works for the people while saving the world. Because this sign should not be a progressive political slogan, but a- So he, this is his, this is his thing. What he does is the same thing that Doomcock and all the others do, which is they point at like rainbow capitalism and they go, that is bad. And then they just go, that's why you shouldn't vote. It's like, yes, we recognize that these sort of signs and shit like this are sort of hollow gestures, but they indicate that there, that there is a cultural understanding of these problems. It just needs to be acted on. And we can't do that under a fascist. I do get his point. The idea that reform can replace capitalism is utopian. Elections will only temper the system, not replace it. Tempering will improve our conditions, but they will never get us to where we want it to go. But you know what else is equally utopian? The idea that you're going to have like a like a revolutionary party of America spring up in time for the, the election, which is in three weeks. That's like more utopian than anything else. I think that's more utopian than the idea of reformism. A basic damn human I'm not being mad at you, by the way. That should this. be a foundation Sorry. for our government and economy. We must care for our comrades through our food drives, assistant programs, I agree. and community service. And we must progress. How is how is any of how is any of that in conflict in conflict with being able to vote? Voting doesn't stop you from doing anything. In fact, I would argue it probably makes it easier for you to do those things. Our parties and organizations to empower the people for more strikes and more rallies and more protests. We have the spirit of comrades that have fallen before us and continue to move forward. From Malcolm X to Fred Hampton, from Oscar Lopez Riviera to Sylvia Riviera, for Angela Davis to the Gildra newspaper staff, our legislature is our Wait, isn't An isn't Angela Davis an electoralist? Don't like tankies hate her? I thought Angela Davis was like an electoralist and they don't like her. Whatever. Communities. Our court is the justice we demand. And our president <laughs> True, Clara. I don't know why the bot muted you, uh but it's okay. We can unmute you. Uh uh, the bot is a little aggressive. We have a, a we have tanky bot at the moment. There you go. You've been unmuted. <laughs> we have a fashy bot. I don't know why. Is our comrades. Let us now move towards this better future now. Because comrades, it may be the only one. Yep. We have left. Okay, so that was a totally worthless video that only made me angry. And we can confirm not only is this guy not a joke, he does basically do the same routine that Doomcock does. Yeah, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought that Angela Davis was like an electoralist. I don't know, whatever. This person just is willing to use anybody. Yeah, it's fucking dishonest and shit. That was fucking dishonest as fuck. Oh my God. Holy shit. Holy shit.